Hey guys, uh, as you know, this is not my normal style format for any video that I do. I normally am sitting down or with a friend or have at least some cool background, not this dragon right here. I just want to sit here and just talk about the future for my channel. I want to start incorporating different videos, different types of videos like scary stories, challenges, not just singing. I still want to do singing and I'm going to try so much harder to post more this year, but I want to start incorporating other ideas into it so I can make this channel more personal and fun and so you guys can actually know me the connection can grow stronger and uh, hopefully I can gain more subscribers and support if, from this I really mean a lot if you guys can help if you have any ideas at all comment down below what you would like to see on this channel what you would like to see me do challenges anything seriously and I'll try to do it for this channel all right enjoy these stories that I've prepared because I've always wanted to narrate any type of story so enjoy This isn't fiction, so it may not be terrifying, but when I was little, it terrified me. Everyone expects haunted houses to be old, with scary stories built into the walls. My first haunted house was brand new, built for us. The part of the house that scared me the most was the small upstairs hallway and stairwell. I could not be in there in the dark. Ever. It started when I was little. I used to sleep with the door open, cracked enough to block out the light when my younger brother left the hall light on. He was scared of the dark too, and I can't blame him. One night I was trying to fall asleep and failing. I rolled over and looked at my door. My brother had left the light on. I was looking over in that direction when I saw something moving in the hallway. At first I thought it was my brother, but it was too big, but not big enough to be a parent. But the shape was clear. I got up to go look, but no one was in the hallway. All the doors were shut except for mine in the bathroom. Next night I see it again. I see the direction it is moving in. It's towards my brother's room. Every single night. Always in the same direction. Every night it was a silhouette of a man, almost hunched over. He had the shape of wearing a long cope and the collars were turned up, as well as a fedora hat that he wore on his head. He always passed my room and headed for my brother's room. I didn't want to see him anymore, but after one night he stopped in front of my room. Or at least paused. I'm not sure, I just remember one night I was terrified and closed my door. I can't sleep with my door open to this day. One night when I was swimming with my family right before the sun went down, I looked up in the sky and noticed a bunch of orbs hovering in the shape of a triangle. At first I thought, I must be seeing things, but then the rest of my family started noticing the orbs as well. We all looked silently for about six minutes before, one by one, the orbs just vanished. Note that they made no sound and they moved in all sorts of crazy manners, but they stayed in uniform the entire time before disappearing. I haven't seen or experienced anything like this since. It was about a week or two after New Year's and me and my two cousins decided to play a game on the computer. Let me start by saying that I never believed in creepypasta, it just all seemed unreal to me. Now I don't know what to think. My cousin thought of a scary game to try to terrify me. It was a game called Help Me. I thought it would be fun. I mean, nothing bad could happen when you're playing a video game, right? We all started playing it, and each second was scary, honestly. It was getting near to the end of the game when I realized I had an unsettling feeling. The computer started glitching out and we all thought it was part of the hacking skills of the game, so we thought it was cool. Soon, static came. We couldn't close down the tab, but a laughter was heard, but even when we pressed the X button at the top of the screen, it wouldn't go down. We had to shut down the computer to stop it. We thought this was really cool, so my cousin played it again. This time, the static and glitching didn't happen. Maybe the computer itself was having some technical problems, but if anyone knows what it might be, tell me. I'm still not sure if I ever want to play a game again.